I'm Robert Ogilvy, Director of Planning for Healthy Places, a project of public health law and policy. This podcast, A Fresh Approach, explores the link between redevelopment and public health in San Francisco's Bayview Hunters Point. San Francisco's Bayview Hunters Point is a predominantly African-American neighborhood on the southeastern edge of the city. The mostly low-income residents live close to industrial sites in a neighborhood isolated from the rest of the city by major freeways. On top of that, in the Bayview, as in many low-income areas, it can be difficult to find healthy foods. What you have is a situation where you don't have a real full-service grocery store. You've got a lot of liquor stores and bodegas which do not have the kinds of facilities and infrastructure internally to even support the provision of healthy food. Instead of healthy food, there is a proliferation of junk food and liquor. As a result, people in Bayview Hunters Point face high rates of obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Residents say they want healthier food, but they have to go to great lengths to get it. Peggy Dunn spends over an hour taking two buses and BART across the Bay to Oakland to shop for groceries. I'm trying to eat more healthier because I'm getting older, because I want to live a long time. For decades, residents have protested to get good quality, fresh foods into local stores. In 1967, neighbors picketed outside the SuperSave grocery store, demanding fresh vegetables and lower prices. Ann Barry has been involved in more recent protests at Foods Co., a neighborhood store that residents have long accused of selling spoiled foods. We wanted fresh fruits and vegetables that were just that fresh. We wanted less white bread on the shelves. We wanted more wheat bread. We want organic milks, you know, things that were healthy for people. Despite the community's efforts, those things still aren't readily available. San Francisco's Redevelopment Agency is working to change this. For many years, the agency has tried to convince developers to build a grocery store in the Bayview. But grocery chains have offered a range of explanations about why they can't locate there, says Redevelopment Agency head Fred Blackwell. Arguments that communities like Bayview Huntings Point can't support a full-service grocery store, that the crime issues are a deterrent to full-service grocery stores, that the footprint that full-service grocery stores need to be successful aren't available in neighborhoods like the Baby Hunters Point. We heard all those arguments. In order to lure a grocer, Blackwell and his staff had to take on those concerns one by one. The agency hired a market analysis firm to show that residents spend millions of dollars outside the neighborhood that would otherwise go to local businesses. It also used crime data to show that the neighborhood was safer than many thought it was. I think that the data story started to create a different view of the market. Finally, the city negotiated a lease with Fresh and Easy, a large, multinational chain of supermarkets. The small but well-stocked store will be in a new building right on 3rd Street in the heart of the neighborhood. Above it will be affordable family and senior housing. In the meantime, The health department and community groups convinced the redevelopment agency to invest in the small stores that are already doing business in the Bayview. The agency is now working with stores like SuperSave. Sam Allowdy is the owner. Well, I bought the store in 1998. Uh, It was a liquor store, I mean, typical liquor store. But slowly, Allowdy has been changing that, cutting down on liquor, adding prepared foods, and bringing in a wide variety of fresh produce. Broccoli, spinach, celery, cabbage, lettuce. Uh, I mean, produce tomato. sales have increased, but Alaudi still struggles to change perceptions of his store and to attract new customers. He's applied for financial assistance from the redevelopment agency to change the store's layout. The plan is to uh, move all the produce to the front right here. Our plan to move this, uh, I mean, the check stands, then to have all this area, about 25% of the total footage of the store, to make a, a, a produce display. Many redevelopment agencies offer programs to improve store exteriors, but it's unusual for redevelopment to fund changes to store infrastructure and to work so closely with store owners to increase healthy food offerings. Fred Blackwell. One of the efforts that we have made just to improve SuperSave is really working closely with the store owner there who's been fabulous to go and visit other places where there are uh, stores with a similar kind of footprint, a similar kind of niche, who've been able to 
make healthy food access a priority. In other cities, redevelopment agencies have used similarly innovative strategies. They've helped establish and promote farmers markets in cities like Davis, Ceres, and Temecula. In San Diego, the redevelopment agency has invested in an urban farm. Other agencies have played important roles in attracting full-service grocery stores to underserved neighborhoods. Improving access to healthy food is just one way these agencies can work with communities, local business owners, and other government agencies to improve health. Part of what's needed, says Blackwell, is a broader culture shift within redevelopment. Left to our own devices as real estate folks, we'll just get the deal done. But if we keep ourselves around the table with uh, folks from the Human Services Agency and the Public Health Department and the school district and the Community Development Department, uh, as well as stay connected and grounded to residents and business owners in the neighborhood, I think we'll end up with a better product, a more arduous process, but a better product. Collaborating with the health department showed San Francisco's redevelopment agency the importance of bringing healthier food to Bayview Hunters Point. With this focus on improving health, the redevelopment agency is doing what it does best, working with businesses and developers to revitalize the community. For Planning for Healthy Places, I'm Robert Ogilvie. For other podcasts in this series and more information on redevelopment and public health, please visit www.healthyplanning.org. Yeah.